All right, tonight I have a few more long screw damage jobs to do. I'm gonna start with a six plus and then I have two iPhone six to do as well. This six plus in this bottom right hole is my least favorite of all of the possible long screw jobs. Uh, this one is always, almost always, a real mess. Pain in the ass. I'm just going to take this uh, EMI shield off. And that way, if I need to work out away from that area, I'll have room to do that easily. start shaving that top layer off and we can see what we're working with here. So like always I am scoring the logic board um, outside of the area that is spongy. I'm just going to try and peel off the top layer. See if I can get that off without pulling up too much of the second layer. There's a piece pulled up there, um, but that's a piece of ground, so it's no big deal. Just trying to peel this layer off and keep the second layer as intact as I can. There we go. That's not too bad. I like it when giant chunks of the second layer don't come up. All right. Now we can start to get an idea of what we're working with in here. Start picking away at the delaminated parts.
this looks like it's probably going to be a problem there. Yep. Anything that's loose like that, best to just get rid of it. That trace has been pulled up off the second, pulled up off of that layer and stretched out. It's probably still okay, but I think I'm going to repair it anyways. Alright, so this looks problematic down here. Both of these look like they've delaminated and probably been severed. So I'm just going to take those out. This particular one I am very familiar with and he is a pain because he disappears underneath this capacitor and you usually don't have much room to work with here. All right. Got both of those. Expose their other ends. There we go. So we'll clean that off. And this trace is going to connect here. That one is going to connect there. And those are probably going to be the ones that were causing the, the main issue, which was that the phone no longer booted. Um, I think it's this one is the one that normally causes that. I, I can't remember. I always just fix them all. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just cut this flapping one out and I'll repair it as well. Yeah, I think the rest of these are going to be good. So I'm just going to fix the ones that I've found that are definitely bad. And we'll go from there. I guess I'm only going to do the 6 Plus on this video because I can see my camera battery is almost dead. So I'm going to charge that up before I try recording anymore. Just try and wrap this video up quickly. God, if you can hear that, like clicking and clacking in the background, that's my dog going nuts on his bone toy. I got a, uh, a few months ago I got a golden doodle puppy and my god that thing eats everything in the house, chews on anything that he can get his mouth on. I don't know what I was thinking. But he is good with the kids so I guess there's that. Just getting my soldering iron prepped here. I'm 
And this tip is just about at the end of its life. I have another one to replace it with, but man, that that's all I'm working with there. <laughs> like, I don't know how much that is. It's got to be less than a millimeter. Or about a millimeter, something like that. A little more flux in there. This is really, really difficult, this part. There we go. I have to be really careful not to damage the little bit of trace that's left there because if I was to to you know screw up that half a millimeter I have to work with then the only other option would be to lift that capacitor and go under that and and that's just adding a whole extra bunch of crap that I don't really want to deal with it can be done, I've done it, but I would rather not. And there we go. So, this one turned out to not be so bad. I always complain about these six plus long screw jobs because they can truly, truly be nightmares. Um, but this one, obviously, not that bad. I've been recording for 13 minutes and uh, it should be done now, so. Um, just give it a quick test and we'll see. No, looks like that was not good enough. Well, that's unfortunate because I don't know how much time I have left on this battery. I didn't accidentally short the line I was working on to ground. Nope. Neither one of those. All right, so what else could the problem be? Uh, no, that one's okay, that one's okay, this one is okay, I really don't know. Alright, I'm going to pause the video while I charge up the battery and work on something else for a minute. 
Okay, so while the battery was charging, um, I went ahead and exposed some more of the traces so that I can tell what's broken and what isn't a little better. Um, and in the process, I damaged some of the ones that I've already fixed. Right there and right here. So I'm going to have to fix those again. And hopefully I found some other broken traces which I can then repair and complete this. So that one is intact. This one's intact. That one is not. That one is not. That one's intact. This one obviously is not. That one is. This one is. That one is. That one is not. That one is not. And that one is. Okay, that middle one is. But this left one definitely is not. So this is how I normally approach this. When, you know, I, I fix the things that I can obviously see are broken and need to be fixed. Um, but then if it doesn't work, then I try and expose both ends kind of, you know, out, outside of the area that everything is delaminating. Like, I know this trace begins here and ends here. So I can test for continuity and it doesn't. It doesn't beep. And that's because there's a chunk missing right here. Um, same thing with this one. I could test here and it's supposed to run along here over this way and all the way down here. So I could test from down here to up there and see if there's continuity and if there's not then I know there's a break somewhere. Um, but I can obviously see there's a break there and I think there's probably a break in here somewhere. Um, and then like this trace, um, there's a via there and it runs over kind of at an angle straight up and then over again and there's another via. Um, that didn't beep so I'm gonna have to run a jumper there. Um, see this one beeped this one did not all right so basically the idea is <clears throat> expose all around the edges of where the damage is find board that isn't damaged like parts of the PCB that aren't damaged and then run jumpers from one end to the other if the line is broken um, so you know, pretty simple, straightforward. Alright, I guess I'll start with this guy. wonder if the microphone on this camera is picking up bear drinking right now. I bet it is because that shit is loud. Alright, so I'll get rid of the piece of wire that's on that trace currently. And run a new jumper there. So I always kind of angle the board in a way that makes it more comfortable for me to do whatever I happen to be trying to do at the time. So that that's something that um, people that are new to this tend to overlook a lot is uh, you know rearranging the logic board so that you're comfortable. The board doesn't have to be comfortable. Just 
getting things positioned there and then I'll add some flux. connected. I'll go ahead and do this guy here too. Let me get a little fresh solder on my tip here. This is probably the last job I'm going to do with this tip. And I'm going to swap it out for the new one. Use these things till the very end. All right, there, that's connected good. And I can get to this via. This wire is very fragile. If I like grab it just a little bit too hard, it'll just like score right on the wire and then break when I don't want it to. good feeling about it this time. I think it's going to work. Let's see. Wow, that's all I got left of that wire. I'm going to have to grab another piece. Neither one of these pieces is long enough for what I want to do here. here. There we go. Run that wire right over to here. Is that the right spot? That's not the right spot. I want it to go here. There we go. Uh, nope. There it is. That should do it for that one. All right, I think that was all I needed to do. I think the rest of that is good. Yeah, I'm just looking over everything. I think that should work. And then I can finally move on to the, the other long screw damage jobs for tonight. All right.
Let's see if this boots. Yep, there we go. It's booting. Um, so hopefully you can see that. Turn that out. There we go. So Apple logo booting. Good to go. All right. Thanks for watching another long screw damage.